business. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me introduce myself because my my life's been growing, been growing expeditiously. So, what's up, y'all? Welcome to my YouTube. Welcome to my Facebook. Welcome to my live feed. Today, we're going to be talking about how to overcome obstacles in this box truck business or in the trucking industry, whichever angle you coming in at, even if as a dispatcher or a freight broker. So the first thing I want to break out and talk about is everything is connected. So from the dispatch to the freight broker to trucking, I want you to understand that when you study in trucking, you study in all of that. You just got to figure out which portion is going to work for you. You know, Trucking is to me the most logical because I get the truck. So I know if I got the asset, then I know that I can sell this service to whoever needs me to move freight versus with it as a dispatcher or a freight broker, you got to go get it. And you trying to convince the dispatcher is trying to convince a trucking company that they can get their freight their keep their truck moving for a percentage. The freight broker is trying to convince the shipper that they can, that they can get their stuff moved by using other carriers. So everything is all intertwined. So I would say the number one way to stay afloat in this game is to dibble in all three, you know, for real. Like, cause that's, that's how I stayed afloat. So, cause if it wasn't for me starting my freight brokerage in the midst of why I had my trucking company and I had already started to, started to broker loads and, and get more work than I can handle so I can make that extra money. Naturally, I'm gonna be dispatching is gonna be easy for me because the main thing that you get with me as a dispatcher is that I have a trucking company already. Well if you get my company as a trucking comp as a as your dispatcher, we have a trucking company. So anybody that's coming in the game, the main the main problem that we solve the the main problem that we solve is you don't have to wait. Like I, we would just book the loads under under our name and then we'll just, you know, you'll be able to get those loads with carriers that you traditionally wouldn't be able to get loads from. So that's kind of like the meat of why, like I said, if you got a trucking company, why would somebody keep calling me and, I, and I'm live? And they call them the company phone. It's irritating. But let's keep this thing going. So... Keep that in mind that all of it is intertwined. Everything, everything goes hand in hand. So you want to make sure that you learn every part of the game and make it, you know, and dibble in every part. If you if I'm a dispatcher or I'm a broker, I might just want to get me a truck just so I can understand that portion of the game and create extra income flow for myself. Because if you're a dispatcher, then you can dispatch your own truck. If you're a broker, you broker in loads to your truck. If you're a trucking company, and you get more freight than you can handle, then you broker out the work or you dispatch the rest of the work out. I ain't meaning to sound redundant, but I don't know who knows what in this live. So I'm assuming that most of the people here are new to the game and just looking for some tips or, you know, either looking to get into the game or look, are they new to the game? So I'm just trying to give you the angles of, of how I'm able to survive. Cause I'm doing all, all of them, you know, I'm doing every part of the game. And, and that's exactly why, because when I lost the work, well, I didn't lose the work. I pretty much gave it back to Amazon. And now they're like, hey, can you send us the amount that you would need to run these routes? I'm like, man, we gave them back like 15 routes. Like, here, y'all, we cannot run this no more. We played y'all game with us. And now they're like, oh, how much do y'all need? I'm like, dude, I've been telling them a long time ago that the rate's like, look, I'm going to try to keep this up while y'all talk to y'all upper people in Seattle. But we ain't finna be running these. I gave them two weeks. They ain't come through with nothing, and it's over. And I'm like, look, I don't, I don't need y'all, cause I got some, I got something I'm gonna show y'all. The reason why, and what I've been getting into to make me be able to, to walk away from it, cause I found a better way in a system, uh, at, over at JB Hunt that pretty much works, the same or better than than Amazon for real. Like the way that they did the loads out, the way that they pay, um. It's, it's got the same confusion. The only thing is you can bid on the loads. Now, for the box truck people, I don't really know if they got a division for that, but for the semi people, that's a that's a good thing. And on top of that, I will be start doing searches on select this load board. But like I said, I'm going to try to do that during the midday because you ain't going to really see, you ain't going to see nothing at this time of night. It's going to be a disservice to everybody. 
So if anybody wanting to do that and all the emails and the people, I definitely definitely got your emails. I'm trying to set up a Zoom call for everybody who missed the load board for Friday at 10 a.m. before I get on my flight. Um, hit me up um, tonight if you want to get on that Zoom call. If I end up missing you and it and, and it didn't happen, you know, like last night we had the little the little issues. So just make sure that y'all hit me up for that as well. But I'm finna show y'all real quick a little something that I've been working on on the back end and the reason why I'm not really faded by the Amazon thing because, you know, the dispatch portion of what we're doing and our other trucks are, you know, are, are keeping us afloat. That's why you don't, you don't put them all in the same thing. All the eggs in one basket. So let me see what this is right here. Hold on, let me let me show y'all my screen real quick. All right, boom. So this is my screen right here. So I'm gonna show y'all. I wonder can I make this any bigger? I'm trying to. There we go. 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 So yeah, so this is 439 miles for 2550. So these are the type of loads that we've been running, you know, in the semi and these have been like power only loads. So running these type of loads it kind of, it's kind of easy to be like, you know, well, we kind of going to walk away from, you know, we kind of be cool with walking away from Amazon, man. Make sure if y'all new, y'all subscribe and make sure y'all, y'all like and, um, and hit this like a whole lot of times on this video. So I could keep on coming on here doing this, but I need, I need those, I need the algorithm working for me. So. Somebody said, okay, let me jump into this question real quick. Got a question. How can I get a W9 for my driver? You can just go on you can just go on Google and just type in W9 and they'll give you a blank one for that. Um let me run through some some questions real quick. Well, actually, let me finish this. All right, so so this is what we've been doing. You know, not every load pays this much, but if you get a cup, this picture, if I did two of these loads right here, my truck would only be on 800 miles and I would have made five grand. So there, there's other options, and that's why I be telling people to semi, you know, and let us dispatch. I mean, we, this ain't this only just one carrier, and we've been doing five to seven with just, with just them, but like I said, it could be just my dispatchers, though. I know the load because we don't, we, we negotiating everything. We ain't taking nothing at face value, so. Let me let me scroll now. That's because I'm pressing option and not command. That's why it ain't working. I'm sure. Like, hold on. Let me refresh this. So, like, say for instance, we'll look at. This Gainesville and South Carolina load, and see they 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 whole little they whole little back end thing is, is is cold though. You know what I'm saying? It's real dope. So this was this was fifteen fifty, and this only went to South Carolina from Atlanta. So I try to keep my drivers close by. So that's you see that I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's two hundred and forty miles for fifteen hundred dollars. So you see what I'm saying? So I, I can't, so my trucks ain't even running a whole bunch of different, they ain't even running a whole bunch of different freight. You know, they're not even running a whole lot of different freight, but yet, but yet and still, we could be making a whole lot of money. So when you hear people talking about those high gross numbers, 
we, we you got to talk like okay, what are you getting per mile? Like, cause we averaging like like three oh seven this week. One of the other weeks we was averaging three thirty, sometimes three fifty. It just depends on what it you know. It just depends on the week. So understand that it's, it could be an up and down flow of it. It kind of just depends on if the driver get caught up. It's too many variables for like I be wanting all of the new people to understand that it's too many variables for me to give straight direct answers for everything. I can only give you okay, well. In my business, this worked like this because some weeks are, are completely different. It depends on if the driver get hung up, get unloaded, if it, the, the truck break down that week, you know, so it's it's too much stuff that happens within it for you to, you know, for 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 us to be able to be like, okay, yeah, this is a guaranteed thing right here. I can guarantee that if you if your truck keep moving, you're gonna make some profit because like I said, on, on my low weeks, I'm still without – if it's not a rental, I'm still pulling in 2100 So, it's per truck. So, And a lot of these people out here in box trucks ain't even ain't even doing that. And, and they running 3,000 miles because the box trucks is for the ease. You know, you could do it easily, but, you know, I want to do less work and more profitability nowadays. Unless Amazon want to give me some – give me some better rates, I definitely still run that freight for them for sure. I ain't against nobody. I just ain't finna waste my time. Wrong. So yes, sir. Hey, Kobe, what you recommend learning from learning for learning dispatching? Dispatching ain't nothing but learning. But you, you everybody in every position from trucking, freight brokering, and dispatching. You're going to have to learn how to talk to shippers and find work. The number one thing is just like finding a job. You got to figure out who got the work and figure out how to delegate it because it's always going to be more people that that's looking for the work than people who actually got the work. And that's the key thing. Always going to be more people looking. So I want to be the person with the work. I want people calling me like now, like I got the work, so I get to take the best parts of it. I get to take the best routes and I get to divvy out the rest. I mean, anybody that tell you that they're not doing that is lying to you. But the freight that I like, I, I just showed you routes. I got consistent routes. That especially for the semi truck, especially in markets like St. Louis, Columbus, and the Midwest, they averaging over. They starting off at three thirty a mile on some of them. So we we negotiating up to three seventy five, you know, in the Midwest. So we still gonna negotiate because of. That's why I'm like, if I'm giving you, if you paying me on percentage and you paying us on percentage, it's still gonna make sense for us to bid high because the more you make, the more we make, and that's just pretty much how that go, you know. So I don't think I'm going to take them all for me, but definitely I'm actually going to take the shorter routes for my trucks because I'm running the ones that I own now. I don't I don't got many rentals right now. I'm only running the, 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 the last four company trucks I got. And after these trucks, there will be no more. I'll be fully dispatching and, and freight brokering, and I might keep two semis, maybe, just maybe. Uh, Ron said, just me, special request. <laughs> you say, don't sign everybody book, then it's going to um, lower the value. I got you. I got you, Ron. I need to know about Baton Rouge, Louisiana loads. Is that box truck loads or is that semi loads? Like what type of loads? San Antonio, Texas, box truck. Okay. Hey, big brother, I got a load 1,000 miles paying 2,800 box truck. Okay, that's... Hey, hey, that's what's up. Hey, if you can, if you got the plug on consistently getting them, like for two eighty a mile, hey, hit me up. I pay for the game because I, I ain't been able to do it. My, I got drivers that's ready to go over the road, but I really just don't like the idea of it for real, you know. Because even with my semis, they only go to the Midwestern back. I don't, you know, I don't really. I like to do low, low risk, <laughs> low risk, high reward, you know. Florida and that semi truck. I have done enough reading and studying enough. It's time to eat. I would like to know what is the ideal dimensions of the box truck. Uh, is there any difference between air suspension and spring? Um, it's a big difference between air suspension and spring. But let me hold on. Let me let me make sure I digest what you're saying before I answer too quickly. Okay. So for as box truck dimensions, I have only out of. All the trucks I owned, I've never had a box truck that was shorter than 
97 inches. So it's always at least 97, but I go, I like 102 high, 103 wide, or it might be vice versa, but 102, 103, those are the specs that I'm looking for in a, in a box truck. And it's probably not a lot of those in the market right now, but that's what I'll be looking for because that's the biggest box and the widest box you can get. Well, you can get one that's like 109 high, but then you got to run the risk of, uh, of of your driver hitting even more bridges. So I would stay away from them 109 high trucks. They just, they're a little too high for my liking. And and then between um, air suspension and springs, air, air ride is always better. You know, uh, of course there's more maintenance because springs ain't got nothing but just the leaves. As long as the leaves ain't cracked, you good. But my very first truck was spring. And my very my first two trucks were spring, but now the freight liners I got now are air ride, and they um they they a lot better because you could let the you could let the box down. So if I get to a dock and the box is sitting up too high, you can let it down. So that's the that's the best thing. And like I said, it's just it's supposed to be a better ride. But I didn't got money in both of them. So if whatever, whichever one is a good deal, some people, very few people on the low board say they want air ride only, but I think you'll be fine. Everybody needs everybody needs everybody. Shippers, exactly. Exactly. So you got so we can't be dealing with brokers and shippers like Amazon that feel like they like everybody needs them. You know, so that's why I'm like, make sure that you got something else solid, you know. Make sure there's something else there's something else solid. You know, for you. Because the money's still flowing in over here, Jack. Why do you rent instead of lease your semis? I don't, like, leasing is, I don't like commitment. I don't like to commit to trucks for real if I don't have to. So that's why I just bought five trailers, and I'm trying to get these, I'm trying to position these five trailers at a shipper where they can load, preload these trailers, and I have my the three semis, They'll be pulling three of them. I have me two owner operators pulling my other two trailers, and I'll be making bank that way because they're going to give me more money because I'm giving them the, the trailers. So I would rather sell all them trucks and just have some rented trucks, and we could do it. Actually, I would rather get rid of my trucks and just have and just broker out everything. To be honest, that's why I went from having all them employees to only having a very few now because I even tell all my employees I'm phasing it out eventually, but I'm teaching them how to get LLCs and stuff too. If they choose not to do that, I don't want to have employees. I want to strictly just have all independent companies just just running under my flag. Box trucks that is sorry forgot to mention. Okay, Dallas. Also, what is your cash app? Hit your hand for the info. All right, hold on. It's my cash app. And I got my phone cut down because people want to keep on calling. So I'm going to drop it down there. There it is right there, briefly. Briefly. Let me see. So somebody said, Boy, I've been catching your video lately. Wow, hey. Hey Richard, man, who who is Richard? Cause Richard just sent me a a C note just for the game. He said he ain't, ain't no strings attached, no nothing. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. I don't, I don't drink or nothing, but I definitely have a drink and a toast of that for sure. Yeah, so okay, so I'm just checking my phone just in case. So yeah. Uh, Len, Lena Edwards, Edwards, he said, I want to be under the umbrella. Hey, the whole purpose of doing this is to build good carriers. So when I go, when I become, you know, as I, as I build my brokerage up, cause I can't, ain't becoming, but I don't have a whole, whole bunch of shippers right now. But as I'm building it up, because you got to get to like six months, even as a freight broker, I just started in December. Everybody like you too young. I don't trust you. You too young. So it's the same thing. So I'm just letting my authority mature right now. The same thing I would tell anybody else to do. You know, if you want, it only cost me two grand and it ain't really like no monthly fee, you know, for it. You, it ain't like insurance. You just pay for the one time. Um, all you do is just pay for the one time bond. And if anybody wants to learn how to do me to make the steps for a freight broker video, man, it's hella easy. It's the same thing as doing a trucking. It's just instead of buying insurance, you just buy a bond. Still need to 
same BOC three, everything still the same. All of that, all of that still the same. All right, so let me go back up and see if there's some more questions. I got to get out of here in exactly, exactly nine o'clock um, this time today. Let me see. Okay, so I answered that question. Best freight for any small carrier is to run Chicago, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Missouri, Illinois. You are guaranteed to grow 10000 a week. Also, small carriers need to utilize JB Hunt Power A. I was just telling him about that. Shouts out to Space Age 3000 because he's on the money. And that's why I like, that's why I'm glad a lot of my 5K people, <laughs> a lot of people that's getting my $5,000 package just want the whole full service from dispatching and all from us. That's they're gonna, they gonna be the easiest people to help, and those are the people that I want to take because I know for sure I can get them, I can get them that five k back in the, in the first week. Of course, it's gonna be gross, but still. But so if if I'm doing the southeast to the midwest and I'm doing seven or eight a week, six to eight a week, easily, easily, you could do ten out of the out of the midwest, easily. So. Shouts out to Space Age. That's some good game. I love when people come out here and get, yes, sir, more free game. Hey, look, we're going to start a hashtag trend on, on Instagram. Free game Kobe. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep dropping it. I'm going to keep Y'all got to pay for some of it, but, you know, general stuff, man. Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Semi is the sh- left, the bo- left box truck. Hey, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But I'm going to find some airport runs, though. You know, I'm going to find some airport runs. Since we got the busiest airport in the, um, you know, in the world, well, at least it was. I don't know about now with COVID, they saying it's, it, the traffic slowed down, but it's so much freight coming through here that that's what I would want to do with the box truck. I would want to do some, some, some air freight. I would want to do some, some, some nice, have a nice, nice little local contract with maybe moving some, some, some film equipment or something like that. Maybe link up with Tyler Perry and try to move some film equipment. That's that's high paying stuff right there. The box truck can make some money. It's just real fine. You got, you got to, you got, so I ain't going to ever give them up all together because I know it's a real good chance that I'm going to find a leak and a, a crack in it somewhere. The same way I found the crack with Amazon and made hundreds of thousands. The same way, well, I profited hundreds of thousands, like gross millions, but, you know, that's, that's, that's just what it is. But I made hundreds of thousands with them. So, you know, I ain't, ain't going to never be like, that wasn't all good, but it definitely, it's definitely gonna be somebody who's gonna pay double. And I know it. Just gotta find them. Just gotta find them. Loads but low boys always have loads. Yeah, I mean, low boys definitely always have loads. Like we go on JB Hunt, you can find some loads, but there's still a time of day where it be way more loads than other parts of the day. So yeah, low boards correct. Low boards do always have loads, because we can go anywhere and it's gonna have something. So Reginald Green, well, hey, brother, I hope you are well. What did you say the names of those websites to sign up to get the designation of the black-owned business? Also, looking to see what market is busy, or Charlotte, or I don't know. You only got Charlotte on there. Okay, I see you got Dallas down there. I say you got Dallas also. Okay. Okay. So that was just a spin off of your other question. Okay. I got you. I see you. I see you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Texas all day though. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to say Texas, Texas. Cause Texas, Texas got so much freight. You could just run in Texas and not even leave Texas. But I got a partner out there in Houston that say he having problems, but everybody, it depends on your devotion to the game. To be honest, like I could sit up here and tell you that, Okay, um, this market is this, but it's all about how you're going to get out here and create the opportunity for yourself. Not everybody is going to be able to do the same thing. Some people got connections and some people like me, like I be getting like, I be standing up for like 20, 22 hours and sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like my grind is just different. So I'm up seeking and getting out and getting a lot done. Not to say nobody else is, but a lot of people that, you know, I, I just I just be thinking it'd be like it'd be the lack of grind be the reason why a lot of people ain't ain't getting to where they need to go. Essentially. So he said, bro, this FMCSA app. So are you is that Johnny, are, are you having a problem with the app itself? 
let me know because I could definitely help you with that. And I hate that I'm like 12 minutes behind the messages, but hopefully Johnny's still in here. But, hey, I'm trying to get through him. So let's say JR, first off, thanks for the game. Do you have any suggestions on the Sprinter van, Marcus, and ATL, or possibly any good dispatches for Sprinters? Man, I don't I don't deal with anything really um, outside of box trucks. Try sprinters didn't work out for me. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't really know anybody that deal with them. Like mostly everybody I know is dealing with dealing with semis. Even like a lot of dispatchers are not even really touching box trucks for real no more because it's it's just if it's a bunch of more semi work, you know, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna do what makes it easier for me. Can you do box truck work with the pup? Yeah, um, well, well, yeah, I know a guy definitely. He's been doing it for years, pulling up to Amazon with a pup trailer, doing it. The good thing about it is you can you can carry more weight. But why wouldn't you just you could just you could probably make more money just doing power only though. Who's the best rental company to go with for Amazon? I mean, they both got the same rate, essentially. Like so, the like Penske just sent me their new rates. They they think they I think they went up from four twenty five to like four sixty five or something like that. But they they both pretty much neck and neck. What are the requirements for semis, dimensions, lift gate, et cetera? That's very broad. Um, I don't know what you mean. What are the requirements for semis? Um, are you saying like I mean I would say get a sleeper if that's what you would say. Uh, I wouldn't get a day cab. Unless you got a dedicated local local thing, but I always like the sleepers because I can do local work and over the road. And if you only got one truck, just get the one that could do multiple different things versus just you know getting that getting that day cab and you're going to be restricted to what that day cab could do. I mean, you could take a day cab over the road, but now you over the road, but now you're going to have to pay for now you're going to have to pay for um, hotels now. So paying for hotels ain't really a good look either. I had 10 trucks over the road, road, man. Them hotels was eating me alive. And that's why I'm like a box truck over the road. When you think about hotels and what you're really getting, I mean, if you only, I mean, unless, like if somebody can show me where they could get, and, and I hope somebody challenged me, if somebody can show me where they getting $2.50 a mile in a box truck consistently, and they, they eating it all the time, I give you $1,000 because I send both of, my, both of my drivers over the road now. I haven't been able to find it, you know. So, if you if you know it, hit me up, shoot me an email, or you can even text that number I got on my website. Come straight to me. Bro, greetings all the way from Maryland. Greetings. What is your thoughts about the DMV area? Much appreciated. Um DMV area got money up there. It's a lot of people with money, a lot of people ordering stuff. It's not my favorite place that I wouldn't I don't send my trucks uh, up nowhere north of VA, but that's just me. Cuz VA be having a lot of good freight. Actually, VA has the best from what I've seen. Um Richmond, Virginia had the best Amazon relay um box truck um rates and I if everywhere every everybody had the rates that was in Richmond Everybody would be happy and nobody would really be complaining. Well, somebody would be complaining because people just complain. But but everybody would be pretty, pretty happy, though. All right, I'm just looking at this thing real quick. I want to see if I can throw this chat. Up, in, up into the, the, the space right here. All right, thanks, Ken. Do you have a lift gate? Okay, hold on. Let me see. I think I'm losing track of this. All right, so I think I'm right here. At what's the best load for box trucks? I would say Selectus, um, Beastie Mike. You got a whole lot of them questions on there. <laughs> You're going to have to book a call. <laughs> That's too many questions, bro. I'm going to run out of time. Would you, George Lee say, would you gamble on buying a 2010 Hino 330 miles over the road with? Thanks in advance, Mr. Free. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Call me free game Kobe. Hashtag. Let's do it. But um, I don't know. Uh, I like I said, you could do it. I'm just when, when my trucks go over the road, I'm sending some rentals. I ain't I ain't sending these trucks that I got. And my trucks got like 300. I got Freightliners 2012s with 300, 10,000 miles, and I just I ain't comfortable with that. Maybe like southeast over the road, but not like nationwide. I I I ain't finna be trying to get no truck towed back from no Oregon nowhere. That's just. That just don't make sense to me. But I'm not saying don't do it. Just make sure if you get you a little maintenance plan or something like that, you know. Because, you know, it's just one of those things. I just don't trust trucks enough. I mean, I, I done had so many people break down. Okay, shouts out to Antonio from Facebook. Shooting me a love offering. Showing me some love to the cash app. Thank you, brother. Let's get on that call. Let's get on the call. All right, so we already talked about that. Keep dropping them. I think you missed my question, LOL. It's before I asked you. Yeah, so just shoot it to me again, man. I, I was trying to um I was trying to get that. Yeah, I I'm even passing up questions because like y'all don't understand it's coming it's coming like real fast. So sometimes y'all might have to put that mug in there again. Hey bro, I got some questions. Where can I get get a call? And how much is you can go on my website and my coaching calls right now? You could get um it's two fifty an hour or uh, um one twenty five for thirty minutes. I know somebody said, oh, that's too much. Hey, you can't tell somebody how much to charge for their time or what their time worth, you know. How can I contact you to buy the book? You can go on my website, kobepegway.com. Actually, it's um, the link. Actually, I should have put the link in my um, in this video. But, yeah, just go to kobepegway.com, exactly how it's spelled. And uh, the book is going to be on the training page where you can where the class and everything is at. So let's see, see if I can if I can find if I if I can get through these. I got 15 years in trucking. Yep, yep, that's good. That's that mean you know the game. Tia Powell, Kobe, watching you. I ended up signing up for a CDL class, and I have four other people who is joining joining with me to work for my company. In the meantime, I am in the box truck space. Okay, that's what's up, Tia. I wonder is that Tia Tia that I know from um from Amazon a long time ago. But yeah, Tia, hit, hit me up. Um, we need to connect. You got four people. Hey, I might need to um, buy one of them drivers from you because man, I, I ain't I ain't having the easiest time trying to find a driver myself. What's the best way to leave box truck to some uh brother? I don't know. Sell the truck. <laughs> Sell the truck. It depends on. I mean, if it's making you some and you can afford to buy another one, I would say keep it because it, it it might get better over time. Like I said, it took me about a year and a half, about two and a half years before I got something good. That good thing lasted for about over a year and a half, and now I'm trying to refine it. But nothing is forever, so you got to make sure that we got a dis. You know, if y'all y'all running trucks. Um, we need to network with these dispatchers because some of these dispatchers be knowing what they be doing. You know, I ain't not, not all of them, but some of them do. Some of them, like I got one, her name is Raven. She out of Atlanta and she be having a lot of different types of stuff because she used to work, you know, um, and she's been in the industry for longer than me. So, and she's younger, but she's been in the industry for longer. So you think I'm not going to have her on the line getting advice? I'm taking advice from who got it. Original, he said that I get that cash up. Now, I only got one from Richard, so unless you unless you send it under Richard, I, don't, I ain't even see a Richard in here. Richard, Richard behind the scenes, shoot me the bread. 
<laughs> hashtag. I, I, I like that. That's what I'm talking about. Free game Kobe. I like it. Money will find you. Thank you. All right, for sure, for sure. You already know. It always do. Money comes easily and frequently. It always just flow in. That's why I can give out that's why I can give give out so much game because I'm I'm gonna get it back from some somebody somewhere. May I have your cash app so I can see the load board for my area? Yeah, the, the cash app is Kobe. It's it's just cash tag Kobe Pegway. Everything is Kobe Pegway. It's, you want to follow me at Kobe Pegway. You want to send me some bread? Has, um, cash tag Kobe Pegway. You want to spend me Twitter at Kobe Pegway. Facebook Kobe Pegway. My website KobePegway.com. It's all simple, simple and easy. I don't want nobody having to think too hard. So let me jump up. All right, so what time is it? It's 8.41, so I'm at these questions. That's at 8.38. All right, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I I guess my my wife must be tired because she ain't um <laughs> she ain't helping me today. How do you still drive while waiting for your authority? I don't know, G. I ain't never drove while I was waiting for my authority unless you run under somebody else's authority while you're waiting on yours, which is a very good option. Very good option. Free game, Kobe. Enterprise is charging four seventy five a week, 18 cents a mile. Is that a good rate? That's that's decent. That ain't the worst. That ain't the worst by far. You know, I, I, I didn't heard of some stuff that was – because Pisky is about right there right now. The Amazon rate is about four seventy five, but it's like 13 cents a mile. So it's five cents a mile higher. But, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I feel like you need to ask the work that. So whatever, wherever you plan on getting work from, just let that work determine whether that price can make sense for you. Because each market is completely different and what they paying and everything like that. So. So, Reginald, I did just see you just sent something uh, and I just seen Eric Eric Thurman and, and Reginald. Eric. Eric, you didn't um, let me know though which one you um, you trying to see. I definitely stay on here and show you. I got about 20, 20, 20 something minutes. I'm gonna be on here. Appreciate the love, bro. Can you get your authority with the rental box? So, yeah, you just gonna have to. Yeah, the, yeah, the truck don't matter. All you need is a VIN number and just send it in to your insurance, and then you'll be good. You 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 you'll be in great shape. Shouts out to everybody that's been buying my book today because my book. So I know some people say it's expensive, but $99, it's my whole course inside my book. So you got to understand, if you don't want to take the course for $450 or the replay for $250, the course is really in a book. You're really reading exactly what I'm teaching everybody in the course. So it's a, it's a, it's a very good option. It's a, it's, it's a very, very good option. And shouts out to, I think, at least 15 people grabbed it today. So I definitely appreciate y'all. I definitely am um, giving my kids something to do. Showing them how to pack it, package and ship stuff. So I definitely, I definitely appreciate y'all. And you see my boy, true, true um trooper right here, bought the class, consultation, and a book now. I'm convinced you just supporting me at this point because I know you know what you're doing now. For sure. But yeah, I definitely appreciate the love. Johnny Robinson. Did you just buy the book, Johnny, or did you buy it earlier? Cause I just see a bunch of I got I got a bunch of email notifications that came that they came in. So thanks for the donation. Say I respect the grind. I appreciate that. Let me look at this load board real quick though. I wonder if someone hey if you was on here yesterday and I couldn't grab you. Let me know right now because I think my internet was just tripping yesterday because JB Hunter, everything is working just fine. Or it's probably just Amazon Relay app for real, to be honest. Because it's getting, because it's going through everything else. Like it's showing me my payments and everything just fine. So, hey, Eric, uh, Eric Thurman for Mobile, Alabama. All right. Yeah, see, it's just this, it's, it's just Amazon because everywhere else is working. I might have to send y'all y'all bread back because I can't I, I can't force it to work. You see, it's just Amazon load board just doing that. When they sit there for a minute, it's just 
See, I don't know what the hell is. It's something straight up wrong with it, though. You see, it's just sitting on her right here right now. But let me try to change this right here. See it? Yeah, I ain't really used to it doing that, so I guess I might have to, I guess it's just saying I got to stop doing the lookups or something, especially for Amazon Relay. So I just refund y'all the bread back because it ain't, um, it ain't working. It's, it's only just letting me see whatever come on this page right here. I guess it ain't letting me look in different areas because it, well, it's just showing me whatever whatever's on here. See, as soon as I, and, and this is new, so maybe they're they just working through the bugs. So it, it's trying to detect my area. So now let me see if I could just press this. See, every time I press it, it just, it's tripping out. What I'm gonna do is if it, if, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna screen. I'm, I'm gonna try to look at it and screenshot it to you. For real. Okay, Johnny said he grabbed a book today. Got you, Johnny. Be shipping them. I'm be shipping them out tomorrow morning. Say so Amazon isn't paying for loads like before. Um yeah, they are. So it's just, it's just as far as, as a dedicated carrier, they 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 changed the rate to where people on the load board was making more money than us. So I'm like, hey, I'd rather just give all the give y'all this shit back and I just book my stuff off the load board. That's exactly what I've been doing. I just been since I got a high since I I got a dedicated account, I get I kinda see more than a lot of people see because of that. At least I think. I I don't know. I just know I get you know, the race that I'm looking for when I do that. So, yeah, yeah, Rome definitely got to get the kids something to do, man. They they involved in everything. My daughter helped me set up my my whole setup. Um, they helped me edit my book. That's why it's a couple words in there wrong. And I got to go back and uh, redo the back cover. But it's all good, though. The information is good. Most of it's about 95% correct. But I, I even be saying regular. I even be saying regular, um, regular, like, major books be having typos in them, so. Shouts out, shouts out, you see, just grab the book. For sure, hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. But let's knock out some of these questions. So, yeah, my, yeah, 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 my apologies with this um, this Amazon thing, it, that the load board ain't working for some reason. Reginald said, can you compare Dallas and Charlotte, please, and then the website so I can register my business as a black-owned business? Um, just, just search DBE. Search, search DBE, and um, it's not a certain one. It depends on what state you're in. So DBE for Dallas is going to be different from DBE for Charlotte. So you're just going to have to figure out, you know, for um, like North Carolina. So you're going to have to get the websites for each individual one. And like I said, hit me up on a call and, and I can walk you through it. But all you got to do is look at the DBE and the MBE for your particular state. Because I had it in Phoenix and I'm working on it right now for Georgia. But it's two completely different things. Some people are a whole lot lenient. Some people are a lot more stricter. But it's definitely worth getting it because that's how that's what makes it easier to get like the post office contracts and any government contracts, period. Especially if you under a certain bracket of um, of money. I think you, they can let you make like up to like two million or something like that, one point five million or something like that. So, so yeah, that's why I got multiple businesses, so I can I can move some of that money around and continue to play the game. Hey, bro, I'm in Norfolk, New Authority. Been cold calling all day. Need some advice on what low boards call for a newbie. Thanks, you, you're the guru. Are you? Oh, yeah, for sure. I appreciate that acknowledgement. Um, are you running a box or a semi? Cause you you ain't gonna have no problem really getting loaded up with no semi. Um, even be, even being new, I'm buying your book Friday. I can see. Can I see Houston Lowe where I was on yesterday? Yeah. So that so it's still not working. 
So I'm gonna try to get it. And like I said, if I absolutely, if Amazon has changed it to where they're not letting anybody show it or whatever, or maybe I don't think because I'm streaming in my internet because I just went on there and showed y'all JB Hunt and I I didn't been showing y'all all of this time. So I got the same internet connection that I've been having. So it ain't like nothing's changed. But they but they low board in the way that it operates. So. Money comes in abundance. True abundance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I even see the name of your trucking company. So you on the same, you on the same wavelength I'm on. Yeah. I speak it all into existence. Whenever, whenever the issue get resolved, can you send me the loads to my email? Yeah, I got you, Eric. Yeah, I got you. Or either, like I said, I'm gonna try for I'm gonna try it up until like Friday. If not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send you the, the um the, the the money back. It's all good, brother. It's all good. I got you. Hey, big time, but don't forget my special request. Uh, my book, you heard, autograph me only. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> hey, man, you going to have everybody hit me up. Hey, man, can you autograph the book? So hold on. How much do you rent semis for? What company do I need a CDL? So, good question. I rent my semis from Ryder over, um, I do Ryder over, Penske with the semis only because Penske doesn't let you take their coverage in the semis. They only let you take their coverage in the box trucks. So that's the main reason why it's a difference between me taking Ryder over Ryder trucks be raggedy. I mean, I don't, I like Penske service. Penske service seemed to be a little bit better. Ryder seemed to be gangster. They don't really give it. They don't give it down. But you don't need a CDL. But your driver do need a CDL. How do you dedicate an account? I got a dedicated account by chance, I would say. I just was at the right place when they, they had a need in my market, and it just came. That's pretty much how work come, though. You know, everybody out of Mississippi, I think, or either like Louisiana, they got their new Amazon coming. So they might have those type of opportunities coming when you see it, you know, when you see it, see they have a need in the market. I just caught it when they was making a transition. I just was when Amazon Relay first started to, you know, be this the thing for box trucks, I was just right there at the right place at the right time. I was already there. That was, like I said, that was August, September, 2019. It wasn't like that long ago, but you know, business changes every day. So in a sense it was, what's the one for ATL? What's, which one for ATL? Um, Raven, Raven um, is the dispatcher recommendation I have. Well, let me make sure before I give out her information that she actually even taking any more people because some of these dispatchers do be booked up to where they don't they, they don't have you know the the means to take on a whole bunch of people and they kind of cool with who they got because a lot of people drivers be making you not even wanting to um, deal deal with they deal with them as a company because they drivers don't be want to go nowhere it just make it hard to dispatch for them. So if, Amazon, so if Amazon Relay done, what else is there for loads in Boston area? Um, Boston, um, I ain't never had a problem getting out of Boston. Um, off of Selectus, my virtual fleet, DAT, never had a problem. I never had a problem getting a decent rate out of there either. Do you recommend factoring? If so, who do you recommend for factoring? Can you talk about it? The UCC filings? and what to look out for. Um, actually, I'm tripping out, so I need to actually take some notes because I, I need to be having these links in the description. So when I repost this, this video up, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link to my factoring company that I'm partnered with and everything. You click that link, you're gonna get factoring, you're gonna get fuel card, you're gonna get everything. I'm actually bringing them on. I was trying to hold off on saying who they are because I'm trying to bring them on so we could talk about factoring live during like one of my one o'clock sessions. So, but yeah, if you if you email me Shamika Walker, I definitely I definitely send you the link. And anybody who want that the link to my to my factoring company. But if you if you don't want to email, just wait until I like once I go off live, I end I, I upgrade everything in the video. So and, and I'll, I'll add all of the links in the description. Is it a good idea to do block with Amazon Power Unit only? A, hey, I did it. I did it for a minute. Um, it worked for me at the time. They was paying like two thousand a load, 
it made sense. I did three of them loads a week. That was six grand. My drivers wasn't really going to work further than like 500 miles. It worked then. So you have to make sure that you understand what the cost is and let the cost dictate whether it makes sense or not. Not, not whether it's Amazon or whether it's Kmart. It don't matter who it is. If the money don't make sense, it don't make sense. You know, and so so let's just keep that in mind and make sure we understand the cost. If you don't understand the cost, I can break it down to you. Take my classes coming up on May 15th. Go ahead and book that live class where I talk for five hours and I answer questions for about the following two or three. So you can get a good understanding of the game, you know, because a lot of the stuff that I'm saying is not going to really make sense to you unless you actually understand the game. So that's why I do the class. So I can teach you the game. So then when I say something, You'll be like, oh, okay, you saying that because it is. Because a lot of my stuff is like two or three part. You know, you won't get it if you only get half of it, you know. It just won't do do any justice for you. Can you explain what factoring is? All right, that's a good. So factoring is, is just somebody giving you an advance on your pay. So say that $2,500 load that I showed earlier in, in the video, I don't, I'm not sure if you was here, that load, I could have got paid for that load within 24 hours. So that mean if every load, so if I did three loads that week for 2,500 a pop, that mean, you know, I would have had minus the 3%, I would have had all of that money by the end of the week so I can pay my driver and I could do everything. That's why the trucking business is so sought out because of factoring because you can get the money back so quick like that, especially if you're over the road. You can get that money back quick. It's working. You ain't typing nothing in. Type, type, try to type a different city and click on that box and see if it's working on, on, that, on that MacBook. Because that's the thing. The regular thing is working. Okay. So I don't know why it ain't working on mine then. You say what? You change the domiciles. So maybe it only maybe it's only letting me search inside my domicile. Hey, hold on, y'all. Let me check on this thing real quick because I definitely want to show Amazon Relay if I can. But the wife, she is on my team. She's watching me from afar. And she said she got it to work on her MacBook, but for some reason it ain't working on mine. So yeah, so maybe it's my computer or something. That's, maybe it's blocking it or something. Yeah, this. So worst case, I might just go. I might just have to do it. Do it on her computer. Yeah, I just do it on her MacBook. So yeah, y'all, hey, y'all, any of y'all that want to look, if see, hey, let me know if y'all, if y'all available. What's tomorrow, Wednesday? If y'all available, like Thursday or Friday morning, about ten o'clock, we could just go on the Zoom. We could we could hop all in there. We could talk for a minute. And I could show y'all, and I just use it. Um, I just use my wife MacBook because for some reason, mine. I, I just spent twenty seven hundred on this thing. I don't see how it ain't working with that. But who knows? It's just it's, it's technology. Jordan said, "All I see is twenty five k to thirty five k. What exactly are you speaking of on that? Oh, maybe you was talking to somebody else. You mentioned DBE, and what was the other one? The other one is MBE. And since you are a female, WBE. So you you can do." DBE, MBE, and WBE for women. So you can do, you can be certified on all three levels, Miss Excel. So, yeah. So if, if y'all want to know more, like I said, I've been certified. It's really good um, for for getting minorities contracts and stuff like that. Yeah, oh yeah, shout out to the wife for show. Do you schedule one on one calls for the weekend? I'm off on the weekends. And I would love to do a one on one. I typically, I typically don't do one on ones on the weekend. Uh, I don't, I don't really do much work on the weekend. But if weekend, I might get squeeze in on a not this weekend because I got the funeral this weekend. Not this weekend. I, I consider that I, I consider maybe doing like one on Saturday and one on Sunday. One hour won't won't kill me, especially if y'all if you if you really Eric, you seem like you really trying to trying to get it get it popping in the game. So just um it. Shoot me a shoot me a eat, schedule one for a, a, another day, and then just let me know. So once you pay for it, I can move it to Saturday because I don't want to open up my calendar and then you know people will be um booking that. So just book it and then I reschedule it and override it manually. But it's, it's gonna have to be if it's a weekend, not this weekend. It's gonna have to be next weekend because I'll be traveling this weekend. 
Oh yeah, okay, okay. Jordan Jordan said he was talking about um are you I said link link to my book, please. Let me throw you the link real quick. Let me find it real quick. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just grabbing this link for him and I'm just going to put it on the chat. Boom. All right, so I just dropped it at the bottom for everybody on on Facebook and YouTube should be able to get it. Well, it's taking a minute to load right now. But, yeah, it should be. Yeah. So, John, so I got that link for you. It's saying an error, an error happened on Facebook for some reason. I don't know. So here's the link. It's just KobePegway.com. So you go in there and you go to training. My book is right there. How do you handle truck breaking down during loaded trip? That's where coming in. That's where having that lift gate come in at. And that's where being a broker come in at. Because I'm a broker that load out to somebody else that got a truck. In the area. I'm so that's the thing. So now since I'm a carrier, if I have a problem, now I could just put that load on the load board from a broker. I could just pay somebody and I might just pay them what I got paid on it. Just for them to come, just so I can make sure I keep my score good with any company. So that's how I would handle it. I would just have them to come bag up to my truck, transload it off, get it gone. Get it gone. Man, it's going down outside right now. Oh, yeah, shouts out to the wife. Go up, please. I was talking about used box trucks. Oh, yeah, so used box trucks, yeah. Yeah, they was about 25000 I mean, you could find you one for 10000 It just depends on, I would say rent, if you could justify it. I mean, I would just say rent, for real, like to be honest. Just got my authority. I've been leased on to a company. I'm hearing bad about Amazon. I have a semi. Yeah, and I said, you, you can catch them, but you're going to have to wait. Amazon, you're going to have to wait until like the last minute, and then the rate will be all right. But it's too many other places. Like I said, so many. Werner got power only. Um, J.B. Hunt, Snyder, a bunch of these places got power only. The best power only been J.B. Hunt right now. I, I think you might have to have like six months. I'm, I'm not sure, though. Said, where do you post your loads at? Um, I post my loads on DAT. Or either uh, I can post them on my virtual fleet. Um, I post them on Truck Stop. I, I see that you have available Thursday at seven. Would that be fine? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, if it's if it's open, if it's open on my calendar, then you can grab it. I didn't think Thursday at seven p.m. would be open though. I was planning on going live again on Thursday. So go ahead and book it. I just go live on after we get off the phone or get off the Zoom call or either before. A few 25 to 34 box truck. <laughs> three to 400K. Wow, that's crazy. What you mean? Oh, is that three to 400 dollars a week? Yeah, now I say it costs the same amount as a semi. I got I had a, I got a semi I paid twenty three thousand dollars for. You know, I got one that I spent twenty five thousand. Matter of fact, I'm finna buy one for thirteen. It ain't in the best condition, but it's gonna be running local and it's still gonna make me more money than a box truck. So it just you just gotta figure out your own everybody gotta figure out their own game plan. Keep that in mind. It's all about it's all about you. You getting your your game and your niche down down pat. I have the money to start up, but what is a good price for a decent M two automatic Cummins twenty four truck with like three hundred four hundred thousand? I live in Wisconsin. They are around twenty five. Yeah, I mean, 
hey, mine's got 300,000. You can come and get two of them for 25,000. <laughs> they got like 330 or something on them. You can come and buy both of them. I'll gladly sell them to you. They both got lift gates. They both got ramps. They both got the biggest box, biggest wide. They air ride. Come get them. Come get them gone. I don't want them no more. And I'm dead serious. I'm trying to get rid of my box trucks so I can go buy more semis. Well, I actually ain't even going to buy no more semis. I'm going to buy some more trailers. What up, bro? What's your opinion on single axle automatic semi pulling Amazon loads? That could definitely work. Like, single axle is good enough for it. I would not go buy a single axle. But if the rental company only had one, like I told you, I'm not spending my money on nothing that is where there's something that's a little bit better option that don't cost that much more to have it. You know, I'd rather have it and I need it than to need it and not have it. And that's just my motto. So I'm getting a sleeper with it. I'm getting a tandem sleeper. That's the only type of trucks I'm going to actually purchase with my money. It's 907. I see that you have availability. Okay, is that bad? Oh, you saying is that bad? Okay, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a little on high end, but I ain't been in the market to buy a truck in a long time. So right now, it's supply and demand. So it's more, it's more people trying to buy trucks than it is trucks in the market. So when you when you think about it, everything is higher. Like the trailers I just bought for twenty fourteen trailers, I spent twenty five thousand per trailer, and then the twenty sixteen was like twenty seven, twenty eight thousand. So. Everything is up right now because of COVID last year. They didn't make as many, they didn't make as many trucks and they didn't, you know, as ma- they, they didn't make it. The production lines were down. So that means they didn't make as much new stuff. So that means the price on used stuff is up now. So it's, it's just a part of the game. Like I said, you can come buy your trucks for me. I wash them up, clean them up and everything for you. Well, I know I at least got one or other one in the shop. I got to see what's up with it. It's a uh, it's freight line. So. So yeah, yeah, you can still, you, yes, you can still work with Amazon with a rental truck. He said, hold up, what box truck did you say? We said, I got a 2012, I got two 2012 Freightliner M2s. They got about 330,000 miles on them, and I'll sell them. Make me an offer. I'm ready to get them, get them gone. When renting a semi, are you paying weekly and mileage? Yeah, definitely. Like the weekly rate is about seven hundred, about twelve cents a mile. Am I responsible for maintenance on rental trucks? No, you're not. That's the whole. That's the caveat. You ain't got to worry about it. I just got to prove for Amazon, and you're right about the last minute to get the load. I have two semi trucks and lease to a company. They are only paying one seventy a mile. What are what are the rents rents rates? Hey, look, look. If you got some semis, bro, just bring them over to me, and we could dispatch for you. And I could definitely get you more than a dollar seventy a mile because it costs me to run my truck like a dollar sixty a mile. So I can't see how the money's being made on that. Josh Stevens, how much for the one on one car? Thirty minutes, one twenty five. One hour, two forty nine. Or you could take the class, learn the game if you need to, and that pretty much comes with a consultation because I'm going I'm to be there to answer your questions at the end of the class. So it just depends on how you want to do it. He said two for 40,000. <laughs> two for 40, two for 43, two for 43. Do you want me to email you my offer? I'm dead serious. I'm ready to buy. What's the best way to contact you? Yeah, yeah, you can send it through my email. email but um, you also could, um, I, got a, I got a phone number on my website. I don't know about hard. It's an 833 number. You could text that number. So you text that number and um, you could text that number. And also you can, um, you can email me too. I mean, I, I mean, my assistants be checking my emails periodically. So, They'll let me know. Just put um, looking in the subject line. I'm um, trying to buy a truck, and I check my spam folder too. So, 
And make sure when y'all looking out for emails from me, for some reason, my, a lot of my stuff go to people's spam folder. So you could either buy the, you, you could buy the 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 um the live class is four forty nine right now, and that comes with the live playback and the book. Or either you could buy just the live playback, and then you could watch it, and then we can do a coaching call. But if you do like the best value I got right now for the next week. I'm giving a class for 449 with the hard copy of the book and the playback, which is usually sold separately. So I'm only going to do that probably for like the next five days. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to go back to regular. So do you do you book power only loads, semi loads out of Houston? I, I haven't booked any. I mean, I mean, I book them for my driver, my driver go there, but I can't do that. I can't find you semi loads uh, out of Houston. And if you want to get, if you want to book a coaching call, so I can show you what Houston look like, you know, I can show you what it looked like on multiple levels as far as through multiple different places, because Houston is is a place that is definitely not that hard to do it. Did you call me earlier? Um, I'm I'm not sure. I didn't I didn't call anybody earlier. Maybe maybe somebody from my team might have reached out. I got the load one on Amazon. I never seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, my trucks had to drive back from Denver, deadhead, all the way back to Atlanta. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really mess with That's why I don't mess with the West Coast at all. No West Coast, no Florida, not too much Northeast. I try to stay right in the middle. How do you get your drivers? Indeed, Craigslist or either referral. You bring them this way, 43000 Louisiana. Oh, nah, man, I ain't bringing them there. It ain't that serious. I'm going to keep them making money until y'all, um, until somebody come get them. Roe Lewis. So I look for drivers on Indeed in the process of waiting for authorization or should I wait if I don't know anyone on hand to drive for me? Yeah, I would I would have a driver in place before I pay for the insurance because it's just going to be hard to even get the insurance. Um, oh, you said should I look for drivers on Indeed in the process of waiting for authorization? Oh, yeah, you should look for drivers right now ASAP. I tell people don't even got their company. Just put an ad out just to see how complicated finding drivers really is. It's not It's not a cakewalk. Unless you got a box truck. I got, I got 150, 200 people in my inbox about box trucks. Amazon is booming over here with loads. Then again, I work 20 minutes away from a huge Amazon distribution center. My guy said at this rate, he will make 150 by the end of the year. Oh, yeah, I did 150 in my year with that profit margin. It, it it didn't it didn't it didn't say 150. Are your trucks teams or solos? My my trucks are solos. I, I wish I could get a team though. Um, teams don't they be hard to work out unless they husband and wife. I don't think they. I don't think it's not a really good idea. How do I schedule a consultation? I think you can help me structure something like my business. Just go to my website. Um. KobePegway.com and you can just check my schedule. It's it's it's, it's kind of booked up because I got a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, you could just book it on there um as well. Or either I could send you a direct link. But yeah, if you could just click on that link that I just put up there, um, it'll get you there too. But KobePegway.com. Um uh, you you could find everything, everything about me on there. I use that low war for power only. Don't it don't be good out of Houston, but looking forward to the knowledge. Okay, now, how long have you had your authority would be a good question to ask because maybe you you ain't um uh, you ain't signed up, and then you need to go sign up with multiple companies too. See, I, my assistant she signed us up with like 40, 50 different companies too. So brokers, care, um, trucking companies, everything. So I be getting emails from all different type of people. So you gonna have to just put in some work on on, on that end too. All right, it's nine fifteen, y'all. I gotta, I gotta get up out of here. Um, I'm definitely fifteen minutes over my time. I enjoy kicking it with y'all. We we deep up in here. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe to my page. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep. I'm gonna try to do this three times a week, uh, fourth time if I can. It just depends on what my schedule like. But I definitely appreciate y'all asking good questions and y'all receiving it. And um, 
let me know if any any topics that I can go over. I will be dropping more videos soon on specific topics, but it's just live. It's just easy. I could just set my equipment up and just go. So that's why I'm, I'll am i be doing that. But yeah, um, I'll talk to y'all. Peace.